The previous month led to a real mixed bag of RPG genres, including turn-based strategy to full-on action sci-fi. This month is one of our favourites as it leads up to the spookiest time of year, Halloween. October does not disappoint as there are definitely some horrors that lurk beneath the surface, but it's not all frightening tales as there are some familiar titles gaining a sequel or new adventures to be had. So without further ado, let's get into the month of October. Honourable Mention, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is set in ancient Greece and will let you choose between male or female protagonists, and the story will be identical for each gender. Players will take on a role as a descendant of King Leonidas, letting them explore a world full of ancestry in ancient Greece, as well as brandishing his legendary blade. Choose from warrior, hunter, and seer abilities to build your hero to suit your playstyle. While the Assassin's Creed franchise has typically focused on the action-adventure genre, the developers add more RPG elements in this latest installment. The world of the Odyssey is steeped in myth and legend, as well as historical figures. You may even have a chance to share some wine with the philosopher Socrates, who indeed could impart some important wisdom. There are also mythical figures to encounter, who will have a chance to go face to face or rather trying to avoid the gaze of the snake-headed boss Medusa. The powers of myth are all too real, get caught in her eye beam and be turned into stone. In this open world, it's up to the player to drive the story, complete quests and even delve into the romantic side of the narrative. Certain actions within dialogues could lead to further your relationship with the choice of NPCs. Assassin's Creed Odyssey will release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on October 5th, with two days of early access if you pre-order one of the special editions. At number 5, Achtung Cthulhu Tactics. Based on the harrowing tales of the war, the reign of the Nazi terror comes to life in Achtung Cthulhu Tactics, a turn-based tactical strategy game set in the Achtung Cthulhu universe. Players delve into the secret war commending across Europe, an underlying darkness enveloped the earth and throughout the forest of fear. Evil lurks in the shadows and it's not just the Nazi forces you must face. A mixture of dark science and occult, it's up to you to overthrow the Nightmare Alliance. Organise your squad and allied forces using tactics and victorious strategies to get rid of the cult of the Black Sun and destroy the mythos secret before it's too late. Using the action point system, devise your plan to counter the enemy. Gaining kills will count towards performing critical hits in the momentum system. Watch too many horrors of war and watch the madness take over your unit in the psychological system. Achten Cthulhu Tactics releases on PZ on October 4th, 2018. At number 4, Disgaea 1 Complete. Disgaea 1 is releasing a remake this October. One of Nippon Ichi Software's most famous games celebrates 15 years of its original release and the company's 25th anniversary this year. The original Disgaea Hour of Darkness first launched on PlayStation 2 in 2003 and was an entertaining mix of turn-based RPG tactics and quirky humour. Build your team to the over-top high-level cap of 9999 in this fast strategy RPG with an eventful storyline. The anniversary version sets to bring a remastered HD version of the game, which focuses on the journey of Prince Lahar. After he awakens from a two-year sleep, he then discovers his father has died, he vows to reclaim the throne. As he ventures through the lands, he meets Flon, a trainee angel whose mission was to assassinate the already deceased king, but decides to borrow Lahal to see if demons are truly heartless. This guy one complete also includes a new Etna mode, which will include some new characters that were not in the original release. Safe to say there are some exciting adventures to be had playing your favourite dudes. Disgaea 1 Complete is set to launch on October 9th for those who are in North America, and a few days later on October 12th for those in Europe. At number 3, The Surge. The good, the bad, and the augmented DLC. The action RPG The Surge is getting a western theme expansion called The Good, The Bad, and The Augmented. Deck 13 brings the Wild West to the sci-fi title. This new DLC will be launching in October. The new expansion takes place deep in the Creo facilities, an abandoned quality assurance lab created to research new tech with no boundaries. It's here where Warren will undergo Dr. Rich Boater's dangerous test chambers that seem to be influenced by a Wild West TV show. Players will fight through the insane doctor's training rooms and use them to put together four of the 16 insane modifiers for a chance to increase your awards. You will come face to face with one of the challenges at the end of each stage, testing your tenacity and fighting skills against the most powerful opponents straight from the training room scenario. These challenges will be geared up with 30 new unique equipment items such as armor, weapons, implants that you can gain for yourself. The Surge's upcoming DLC, The Good, The Bad and The Augmented will be releasing on PS4, Xbox One and PC on October 2nd, 2018. At number 2, Call of Cthulhu. The game incorporates the psychological horror of H.P. Lovecraft with a pen and paper RPG. Call of Cthulhu lets players take the role of the investigator using stealth to unravel the mystery of events on an isolated island. 
while also staving off your own descent into insanity. You take on the role of Edward Pierce on a mission to find the truth behind the death of the unclaimed artist and her family on Darkwater Island. The game features an interesting RPG mechanic frame that allows you to improve your detective abilities. Improving these abilities allows you to do different things like notice clues in the environment, deduce truths behind items, and make sense of symbols and paintings. As you collect clues, you can refute police reports of accounts and make your own conclusions. While discovering rare items may shed more light on the situation, knowledge can also be a curse. The more Pierce finds out about the horrors that lurk, the further his descent into madness as he tries to make sense of what he discovers. Call of Cthulhu is set to release on PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on October 30th, 2018. At number 1, Red Dead Redemption 2. Set in the Wild West, Red Dead makes its return in Red Dead Redemption 2, full of gunslinging action and fist-fighting fun. Set in 1899 is actually a prequel to the previous Red Dead title, which takes place over a decade later. The story begins after a robbery goes awry in the western town of Blackwater, causing Arthur Morgan and the Vandalin gang to flee. With encroaching federal agents and the best bounty hunters on their tail, the gang must commit armed robbery, steal and fight their way through the Wild West of America in order to make it out alive. It's not just outside influences that cause trouble for the gang, but internal divisions also threaten their unity. Red Dead Redemption 2 also includes an online multiplayer mode called Red Dead Online, which will launch in November, so now you can choose to take up your adventure alone or team up with your friends in giving a completely new experience. Players can view the game entirely in third person or first person as they wish throughout the game. Red Dead Redemption 2 hits PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on October 26th. That's a wrap for the top RPGs for October. Did I miss your favourite October release? What games are you most looking forward to this year? Let us know in the comments below.